Top of the morning to you, Warren. Top of the morning to you, Mud Meadows, and well, uh, welcome to the fish show. The time is now 8 o'clock and 30 seconds, so that means if you're one of those people that has to be at work by 8, it might be a good time to quit lollygagging, get up, and get your butt out of the house. Now. Catchers have been working overtime. And for those of you under the sign of Aquarius, beware. Uh, unexpected events may cause your chakras to fall out of alignment. Chakras? Alignment? Well, it sounds like it might be a very interesting day for all us Aquariuses. Aquarians. Aquarians. And those are today's horoscopes. Thank you, Maureen. You are welcome. And I'm Reed Fish. And you're listening to The Fish Show, the radio arm of Mud Meadows' double threat news and information source, Mud Meadows Radio and Television. And now, for the news. Brought to you by our good friends at Peterson Nursery Feed and Tackle, who want to remind you that they're special on 50-pound bags of manure and Thursday. Peterson Nursery Feed and Tackle, your one-stop vegetation destination. Now, civic boosters have raised concerns about the height of the hedges around City Hall. And I can't help but wonder what our mayor has to say on the issue. I have no comment on the hedge situation at this time. Thank you. Thank you, Your Excellency. Uh, well, we all know this is a hot topic. Uh, oh, and it looks like we've got some calls, so let's go to the phones. Uh, caller, you're on the fish. Reed, Patricia Rafferty, these hedges are an outrage. Someone okay. should be fired. Now, Patricia, I, I don't think there's any need for that, necessarily, but uh, thank you for your call. Okay. Caller, you're on the fish. Then, Reed, what's the solution on these hedges? Well, I've always thought that the simple solution would be to have our guy, Gary the Gardener, take care of it instead of bringing in that topiary specialist twice a year. Yeah, he's right about that. Not only would it save the city money in the long run, but it would get those hedges back into compliance with the shrubbery ordinance of 1957, which of course states that all ornamental shrubbery at municipal buildings must be a minimum of 18 inches below any windows. Thank you for your call. Next caller, you are on the fish. Caller, you are on the fish. You are on the fish. Thank you for your call. So that just about does it for today's broadcast. Um, don't forget to tune in Thursday to our TV show on Channel 27, where we will be covering today's triumphant return of Zeke, our world-famous prodigal Zorse, who has been overseas on a tour of South American petting zoos. Wait a sec. Frank Cortez has just handed me a late-breaking news bulletin. Uh, let's see here. Oh, it's a fish show traffic alert. Leonard Moore has a flat tire out on Baker Road, so keep your eyes peeled, and if you have a minute, stop and give Leonard a hand, because with his bad back, he shouldn't be lifting any tires. Um, well, Leonard Moore shouldn't be lifting anything. Let's face it. Uh, all right, we'll be back tomorrow here on your radio, so with that, my friends, have a marvelous day in the meadows. Great show, guys. Thank you. Maybe one of these days you'll actually show up on time. Well, I, I just like waking up to the sound of your sweet voice. Yeah, well, if you'd come any later, we would have had to put Frank on to read the news. <laughs> hey, did you guys know that the human eye expands 45% when looking at something pretty? <laughs> interesting, isn't it? <laughs> Is that interesting? <laughs> hey, so, Frankie. Uh, you know where I want the camera set up for Zeke and everything, right? Of course, and I've got some of my own ideas for some shots, too. All right, cool. Well, maybe we can go over them when I get out there. Cool. Maureen? See you at the Peterson. <laughs> if I lift my head From the bed of stars If I call your name, would you carry me on inside? 
How are you, Leonard? Oh, I've seen better days. I'll bet. You've got to make this quick. you got to get ready for the Zorch. Oh, yeah, I know. It's a very big story. You know you're beginning to look like your dad more every day. Ah, oh, thanks, Leonard. Man, I need to talk to you about something. Yeah. So I had this dream last night that Chuck Norris was trying to teach me how to cook chicken piccata. So I think I should come on the fish and like analyze it. I mean, I get the symbolism that like Chuck Norris is the guy and all that, but what about the piccata? Uh, you know what? I think that answer has to come from within, man, to be perfectly honest. Wow, that's so true, man. Thank you. Yeah, you got it. We should totally buy that camera, by the way. Hey, Reed Fish. I was wondering if you were going to notice me. Jill. Hi. Hey. You're here. I know. I'm here. Dude, watch the merch. Hey, sorry, man. So you look great. Oh. Same as always. Thank you. You've changed a lot, though. You, you look really good. Uh, I guess I didn't look... Dude, you're knocking over my career! <laughs> Sorry, man. Sorry about that. Uh, what are you, you doing here? Oh, well, my mom wanted me to pick up some 40s malt liquor for us to have with lunch, so I figured, you know. While I was here, I'd hang out with my cousin for a few minutes. Well, your mom sent you to go get 40s? Reed, have you completely lost your sense of humor in the last four years? <laughs> Come <All> on. Right. <laughs> um, I, I gotta go. I have to go cover this story. Oh. The Zorus has returned. Right, okay. Well, it's so good to see you. Yeah, it was really good to see you, too. Do you want to come with me? almost here. All right, give me the apparatus. Hey, Frankie! <laughs> Jill! It's so good to see you. It's good to see you, too. Yeah. This is a uh, surprise. Yeah. <laughs> show to do or something? Oh, yeah, that's right, of course. Um, well, I don't know, start with a medium shot, and I'll zoom the Zoys. Okay. <laughs> Gosh, it's so cool that you're the new voice in Mind Meadows. I mean, I practically grew up listening to your dad. Mr. Fish, stop staring at her boobs. We're working. Dude, I'm not. Shut up. What? No, 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 nothing that concerns you. Anyway, so, you know, while you're here, you should come on the fish. What? No, you don't want me on your show. What local girl makes good? People eat that stuff up. But I haven't made good. You went to college. That is not making good. It is in Mud Meadows. Come on, it'll be a cakewalk. Okay, but I don't know. Well, we'll figure something out. How long are you here for? Um, all summer, actually. Hey, Reed, your eyes are 45% bigger, by the way. Seriously? Shut up. I'm so funny. Yeah, but you know, I just needed to come home. Just regroup. Nice shirt, Reed. Fish. I don't know, take some time away from my life, you know? Right. You know? That's cool. Yeah. Hey, we should hang out. You know, like old times. I'm getting married in three weeks. Oh, yeah? Kate Peterson? Oh, you heard. No, just lucky guess, I guess. <laughs> what about you? You uh, getting married? <laughs> oh, no. Uh, 
My boyfriend Gabe and I are kind of just Sorry like, guys, but the uh, Zorse has arrived. Uh, Alright. Yeah, quit Zorsing around and get to work. <laughs> Press the button? Yeah. Okay, okay. On one, okay? It's a very special day in Mud Meadows as Zeke, our one and only Zorse, makes his triumphant return home. How's, uh, how's Zeke feeling today? Oh, he's excited, but he's glad to be home. Oh, that makes sense. And, and so it's a uh, cross between a... A zebra and thoroughbred racehorse. And who impregnated who? The daddy's the zebra. The daddy's the zebra. And I hear that uh, he likes apples a lot. Is this true? Yes. Oh, fantastic. Shall I try to feed him? Yes. In fact, I think he wants one. Taste this feet. That's a good boy. Fish out. What do you do with it? Do you, do you ride it? Do you milk it? What? Oh, yeah. You just zorse around, I guess. <laughs> <clears throat> hey, did Katie tell you how many cars she sold last month? She is the number one salesperson in the entire Peterson retail empire. Oh, please. Just, just let your old man be proud of you, okay? You know, I'm still thinking salmon for the wedding. I think that's going to be really nice, Maury. Wait, wait, I, I thought the, the choices were prime rib or chicken. I thought that those were the options. No, babe, the color salmon for her dress. Oh, right. Because I'm a Pisces. Oh, right, yeah. Hey, did you get your measurements in for the, for your tux? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, good. Hey, which reminds me, uh, you ever smoked a Cuban? Daddy, I think I'll just help Kate with these dishes, and then I really got to go home. Well, OK, looks like it's just the boys then. Mano a mano. <laughs> so uh, Irv, what is the difference between like a Cuban and a regular cigar? Well, a Cuban is made in Cuba. Besides that, <laughs> well, it's, you know, it's richer, it's fuller, it's more flavorful. I tell you what, though, in reality, it's the embargo. It's just a lot more exciting to smoke an illegal cigar, you know? Something wrong there, kiddo? Yeah. It's all this wedding crap, ain't it? Yeah. It's just... I don't know. It's kind of weird, like... Or we're gonna be family. Hell, you've always been a member of this family. Man, you're... Your dad and me were like brothers. And Nancy and your mom, they... Well, they'd just be damn proud of you, is what I'm trying to say. Not just the wedding, but your life, everything. Now, you're doing exactly what you were born to do. You know, this, this town depended on your dad. Now they depend on you. And I couldn't be happy about you and my Kate. I mean, it's going to be tough on me when... When she moves out. <clears throat> Which reminds me, there's a <clears throat> well, something I've been meaning to talk to you about. Yeah, sure. What anything? <clears throat> it's about your wedding night. <clears throat> I don't know how to say this. Well, you know my Katie's a virgin, right? So I'm just asking you as a favor, man to man. <laughs> just shitting you. <ya>. Virgin. <laughs> I just totally freaked you out, right? Yeah. Sorry. Or if I think I'm gonna throw up. Can you do it over there by the gazebo? Yeah, you got it. Yeah, good boy. Hello? Morning, sleepy. 
Sleepy head, rise and shine. You don't want to be late for work. Hey, no, I, I am up. Up and up. Well, I mean, I have the alarm set. A.K. Maureen. Oh, okay. You look very pretty this morning. Then how would you know that? Oh, he says you look pretty this morning. Oh. Aww. Oh, that's so sweet. Now, listen, don't forget, we're supposed to meet Mrs. Sandstrom after the show today. Okay. Uh, oh, hey, uh, Kate, try to, try to not zorse around too much at work there today, okay? <laughs> um, Reed, just so you know, that joke isn't funny. Don't use it on the show. Okay. Give me a kiss. Go get him, Tiger. Wherever you lead, I will follow. Be it today, perhaps tomorrow. Wherever you lead, I will follow. All right, so let's bring all the citizens of Mud Meadows up to speed on your life. Uh, Jill, so after you graduated, you went to college. Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> yes, college. Um, the University of Texas at Austin. And uh, your degree was in economics, right? But I heard, uh, I heard a wee bit of a rumor through the grapevine... I heard a wee bit of a rumor through the grapevines that you're going to law school this fall. Well... Work gets around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes, it does. That's, that's just Mud Meadows for you. Oh, uh, you know, but I miss it so much. I mean, I actually really miss Mud Meadows. <laughs> it's so good to be back. Just, I don't know, it just gives me perspective or something. I just keep wondering why I ever left in the first place. Yeah, and why was that? Why, why did you leave? I guess it's just that all my dreams and aspirations weren't right next door to my house. My life wasn't already set up for me. I wasn't so lucky. Not everyone can be. Well, uh, it looks like we've got some calls, so let's go to the phones, which today uh, is sponsored by Peterson Sporting Goods. Peterson Sporting Goods, your one-stop recreation destination. Hello, caller. You're on the fish. Hi there, Patricia. Um, do you have a question for Jill? No, my business is with you, Reed. All right, well, what seems to be the trouble? Well, I was walking my grandson to school this morning and crossing the street at Jackson and Cedar, and we were almost run over. This car came out of nowhere. Yeah, yeah, no, that's, that's a very bad intersection. Well, maybe the mayor would like to come on the air and explain why there's no stop sign uh, Well, there. yeah, I mean, hey, come on, Patricia. We all know that Maureen is... Really, just a figurehead. Uh, so, no, I, I think we, we'd be much better off getting old Georgie Porgy Henderson over at Public Works on the line, and I happen to have his number on speed dial. Reed, this is George Henderson. Look, I appreciate Ms. Rafferty's concern, but I'm afraid there's nothing we can do about it right now. The budget's too tight. Look, no, I, I understand that you guys are busy, George, but... This is like a public safety issue. I mean, uh, what about dipping into your discretionary fund to pay for a little bit of overtime? Well, that fund's only for special circumstances. And taxpayers' children nearly getting run over to death doesn't count as special circumstances? Fine. I'll have a crew over there tomorrow. Thank you very much, George. Have a nice day. Oh, thank you, Reed. Uh, of course, of course. Thank you for your call, Patricia. Next caller. You're on the fish. Jill, it's... it's John Penner calling. <laughs> hey, John. Oh, my God, so good to talk to you. How's your mom? Oh, uh, she's good, thanks. Uh, well, look, I, I just wanted to tell you that we're all really proud of you down here at the coffee shop. Uh, uh, okay, bye. <laughs> awesome call, man. Oh, John, great call, great call. <laughs> And with that, my friends, have a marvelous day in the meadows. That's such a great line. I love that. Well, you know, it was my dad's kind of tradition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You did an amazing job. You're a born natural uh, radio personality. Oh, right. <laughs>
please. Oh no, you did. Hey. Oh, oh it's so good to see you. Yeah, it's been way too long. I know. Hey, congrats on hooking this fish here. Oh uh, yeah, thanks. Oh my god, I hope you're in town for the wedding. Yeah, 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 it will be. Man, it's a summer wedding. Yeah. You know, Andrew and Teresa. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah I, I, well, um... Reed's in that wedding. Did he tell you he's one of Andrew's groomsmen? No, 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 he didn't mention it, but Andrew did like ten times. So. <laughs> so oh, excuse me. Hello. Oh, hey, Gabe. Are you ready to go? To go no, where? Mrs. Sandstrom. No, I didn't show up on the call already. Who are you calling? No, I don't want. I can't I talk about it. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm good. We can go. We gotta get this. No, we're done. Okay. Okay, bye. It's okay. So, uh, what are you up to tomorrow? It's Friday night. We should all go out, the four of us, and relive high school. Yeah, yeah. I, well, actually, I was, I was kind of planning on um, hanging out with my parents and watching Wheel of Fortune, but I could probably squeeze you. <laughs> okay. Well, excellent, because that'll give us a chance to catch up, because we have got to run. We've got the caterer. Yeah, see you, Jill. Uh, thank you for coming in, and uh, squeeze us in. <laughs> yeah. Bye. Hey, Jill. I bet you didn't know that polar bears are left-handed. to try that asparagus again. Sorry, what? The asparagus. The asparagus. What are you talking about? Mrs. Sandstrom's asparagus. Mrs. Ah, the asparagus. What? You don't like it? I, uh, I don't know. It tastes asparagus-y. You act like you don't even care. Well, I don't really. What? Uh, we lost sound. It's just a loose connection, though. It happens all the time with this projector. Uh, um, hi there. So it appears as though we're having some uh, technical difficulties. Great movie, Fish! <laughs> Andrew, shut up. You're the one who looks right in the camera after every line. Yeah, it's called acting. <laughs> Great. Uh, so, we'll try to get that up and running as soon as possible. How much longer, Ralph? I, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, there she is, she's here. Well, you invited her. Yes, but I didn't think she'd actually show up. you. Yep. You look good. Thanks. So it's been a while since the old, uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, you look good. You just said that. Right. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. That's all right. Don't worry about it. What do you think of the movie? I don't, I don't know. It's, um, yeah, I, know. I guess it must be kind of weird to see our story up there for everyone to see. Yeah, I... I just... I know I hurt you. Reed. I know I did. And, uh, we're um, good to go in there. Okay. Thank you, huh? Um... I guess we'll talk afterwards.
Okay. Um, thank you for your patience, Mud Meadows. Fish out. Why do I have to be concerned with every single little detail about the wedding? We're getting married in three weeks, Reed. We're standing in front of our caterer's house, and you don't want to discuss the asparagus? No, I don't. Uh, I just I don't understand you, Reed. I mean, this is one of the most exciting, romantic times of our life, and you barely care. Well, that's not true. That is not true. I just don't want to have to talk about it continually. Well, then I guess we just have nothing to say to each other. Well, Frigg. Frigg? Yes. You know, I don't like it when you use that word. Show, and I uh, think it's hella sick. You're gonna be a lawyer. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Well, what are you up to these days? Nothing, really. I mean, I'm, uh, I'm thinking about founding an internet startup company. Um, you know, getting the money together now, the venture capital, and like it's number crunching and just spreadsheets, and uh, I don't want to get into it. It's, com it's complex. Okay, wow. Well, that's good for you, Rex. That sounds cool. Did, Reed, did you get the proposal I sent? No. Dang it, man! Come on, Rex. Come on, Rex. So, Jill, I just, uh, I came over to say I'm sorry for the way I acted when you broke up with me. Oh. Uh, no, no, I, I shouldn't have yelled at you like that or threw that hamburger at you. It was a really long time ago. So no, it's... it's never too late to say you're sorry. Well, thanks. That's really sweet. Yeah, well, I've changed a lot since you knew me. I went through anger management and stuff. Yeah. Oh. Don't get me wrong. It's still, it's still party, though. Well, that's... That's great. Yeah, that's pretty rad. You guys getting beers or what? Uh, yeah, 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 all right. Rex. Hey, Rex. What are you up to? Just having a dance off with my buddies. Anybody want to go to Murray's for a little bit of a nightcap? Yeah, I'm good. Uh, I can't. I have to work in the morning. We're getting a new car in, so... Yeah, no, call me out. Somebody has to be at the station on time, early. Oh, well, no one else is going. No, I, I mean, it's cool. We'll have fun. Um, yeah. All right, cool. Awesome. After you guys. Okay. See, this is better than going to a bar. Nah, no, you're right, you're right. But, I mean, Miss Sandstrom's not going to wake up, is she? She's half deaf. How many times do we do this in high school? She never broke once. Yeah, good point, good point. 
No, 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 no. I know it. It's um, Spar. Spar. Uh, uh, Spartacus Sophia. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? That's what it is. <laughs> That's, you and your fake constellations. <laughs> like, like, I swear for years I thought the. Uh, what was it? Gordita Borealis <laughs> was real. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good old Gordita Borealis. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that stupid? Stop. <laughs> so, why are you here this summer? Uh, I don't know. A million reasons, I guess. Such as? School. I didn't finish college. I dropped out two years ago. What? I don't know. I just could never tell my parents, you know, because they, they expect so much of me, and they're so proud of me, and I don't know. And then law school? Yeah, right. <laughs> I'm a waitress. Well, I mean, a waitress, that's a really good job to have. Well, I mean, the, the money's really good <laughs> with, like, tips and everything. <laughs> Seriously. You're really sweet, you know that? I, I mean, I'm just saying, it's a good job. I didn't drop out of school to be a waitress. Well, no, you dropped out to write songs. Well, that's what you've always wanted to do, right? Um... Yes. <laughs> and are you writing songs? Yeah, sometimes. Good. Good. I don't know that I, I played a set at this place in Austin a couple weeks ago, and um, <laughs> it did not go so hot. Uh, I don't know. I just, I'm not cut out for it, I think. Jill, it's your passion. It's like what you want to do. You, you, you got to keep trying. I mean. Everything will work out. It always does. Does it, though? I don't know. Reed just seems like, you know, happy endings only happen to people in the movies. You know? Yeah, maybe you're right. So Kate's really great. You're really lucky. You and Kate really leaned on each other. When my father fell asleep at the wheel, killing himself, my mother, and Kate's mother all at the same time. Hey, why can't I interview people? I don't know. What's up, man? Hey, this is Kate. Listen, the closer it gets to the wedding, the weirder they get. How would you know? You've never even lasted with anyone more than a week. Hey, I know women, okay? Why, because you still live at home with your mother? <laughs> You think I should get married, right? Dude, what are you talking about? Kate Peterson is the whole package. She's totally hot. You've known her forever. I mean, you guys are so meant to be together. Yeah, I know. Reed, this is the best decision you've ever made. Seriously. Don't get cold feet. Yeah, no, you're right. You're right. I don't think you realize just how lucky you are, Reed Fish. The sheriff should have known that only animals used for transportation can be issued citations. How can a chicken break the law? It's completely poppycock. That it is. Well, this law was designed to protect animals, but the sheriff...
sheriff's unfortunate and brazen misuse of his power could unfortunately undercut the very freedom of our creature companions. Fish out. Oh, nice shot, buddy. That was a nice shot. <laughs> oh, great. It's the high five lovers. Fish! Hey, Andrew. Hey, man, what's going on? Not a heck of a lot. It's getting pretty close, eh? We're gonna be a couple of married dudes pretty soon, right? Yeah. Right? Yep. Yeah. Hey, our wedding is gonna rock. Oh, huh? up high, up high. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And it totally rocks if we're gonna meet each other's weddings, all right? Right? Up high! Come on, give it to me! Woo! Because <laughs> you know, man, I love you. I love you? No, sing it. I, I love you. Yes! Yes! I love you! Come here. Yeah, man, I love, I love you. you. I love you. I love you. Yeah. All right, guys, well, uh, take care, and we're going to walk. Over there. Hey. I love you. I love you. No. I love you. You do? You love me? I love you. Hey, you, kid. I see your ID. <laughs> Ralph. Pretty funny stuff, Ralph. Oh, thanks, man. So, uh, how's it going? Oh, it's going, uh, it's going good. You know, you're looking more like your dad every day. Uh, that's what everybody tells me. Yep. People tell me that all the time, too. So my dad had a beer gut. <laughs> that's the one thing I didn't get from him. Yet. It's easy to get a beer gut owning a bar. You don't even realize it as it happens. And all of a sudden, one day, you look down, and you can't even see your own damn shoes anymore. I can't wait for that day. I bet you ladies didn't know it's impossible to lick your own elbow. <laughs> Smooth operator. Hey, cowboy. Yo. Yo, wow, that's very street of you, Reese. Well, you know, what can I say? Every day's a struggle. Oh. It's really good to see you. Yeah, you're here with, uh... Yeah, Andrew and Teresa. Is Kay here? No, no, it's just a, uh, dude's night out. Oh, cool. Yeah. Um, howdy. Uh, uh, welcome to Murray's Weekly Talent Night. Uh, our first talent is Andrew. Yeah, Andrew! Woo! Yeah! Should he really be doing this drunk off I'm his ass? Sure, he'll be fine. You should get up there. Oh, I don't know karate. Karate? What? No, the guitar. Oh, Go. no. No, are you crazy? This is Mud Meadows. Everyone knows me. I'll be laughed off the stage. <laughs> <laughs> or not. I'll tell you what, here. I'll dare you. Oh. Seriously, get up there. You'll be amazing. Right. Oh. Okay. Okay, uh, I've got a change in plans. Oh, man. I need change. Okay. So uh, it's time for more talent. Uh, our next talent is Jill Cavanaugh. -na. I'm sorry. Cavanaugh. Cavanaugh. Yeah! Um, hi. Thank you, Ralph, for that. Nice introduction. Uh, okay, so uh, I'm gonna sing a song. 
and uh, I wrote it, so please, no booing. Okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna start over. Do you want to go get some fresh air? Yeah. Okay. Go to it. Bye, guys. Get a beer? Yeah. Hey! Hey! <laughs> Can we get a beer? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That was um, so cool. I mean, I can't... The reaction, you know, was just... Unbelievable. I, I told you. Didn't I tell you? <laughs> I knew you could do it. No, I knew that they would love you. Jill, like, uh, you've, you've got something to say. You've, you've got a voice in this world that's all your own. I mean, most of us would kill for that. Oh, that's sweet. Thank you. 
Hey, kiddo. Hey. Ah, oh, you guys have fun? You didn't get too crazy, I hope. Uh, no, uh, it was pretty tame. Oh, well, she's just hitting the sack if you want to go see her. Thanks, sir. Yeah. yeah. How was it? It was great, yeah, it's great. Anyone interesting show up? No, 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 just the usual. Yeah. Anyone good on stage? No, no, no. Uh, how was your night? Um, it was good. The usual. Dinner with Naomi. But, oh, my God, she had the best idea for a wedding, for the reception. She offered... Yeah, it was just boring wedding stuff. But uh, she wants us to go up to the lake this weekend for... Uh, I love you, Kate. I love you too, babe. Are you okay? Are you crying? No. No, uh, maybe. Why are you crying, babe? Because uh, I love you. Uh, And because I made out with Jill Cavanaugh in the Murray's parking lot. What? I kissed her. It was all my fault. It was all me. I kissed her. Why would you kiss her? Uh, because I wanted to. How could you do that? How the hell could you do that? I'm sorry, Kate. A lot of good that does me. Maybe I'm not ready for this. Ready for what? Uh, the wedding. Maybe we should just call it off. I, 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 I'm nothing. I don't deserve it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Wait a sec, are you serious? Of course. You just said that you're not ready to get married. I mean, you're either in or you're out. It's simple. Maybe I'm not ready to get married. Maybe I'm not ready to get married. You haven't even wanted to plan the wedding. You've been completely distant the whole time that I've been planning our wedding. And there's no maybe about it. I mean... You're not ready to get married. I'm not going to marry you. Okay, okay, I take it back. I take it back. You can't take it back. You, it's already done. I want to I wanna marry you, Kate. What are you doing? Are you serious? We need time to talk this out. There's nothing to talk about. No, okay, I'm sorry. I was... Don't do this. It's done. And so I think I speak for everyone when I say that it's a big relief that Ms. Rafferty dropped her lawsuit about those runaway hedges at City Hall. A big old kudos to the mayor for getting that whole disaster under control. Um, okay, I guess we go to the phones. Um, the call-in portion of today's show is brought to you by... Peterson Motors in Mud Meadows. Peterson Motors, your one-stop transportation destination. Caller, you're on the fish. We all know what you did, Reed. I'm sorry? We've been talking down here at the coffee shop, and what you did to Kate was horrible. And then you should be ashamed of yourself, and... Okay, bye. Well, I am ashamed of myself. Thank you for your call. Now, where was I? 
So I'm about driving truck? Right. I was talking about Donald. Oh, hey, Jill, you remember Donald? Uh, yeah, I do. Donald, my husband. He is so loyal. I mean, he is the sweetest thing. Hold that thought. I've got an order up. Sorry, I'm late. Hey, don't worry about it. I'm so sorry. Jill, I kissed you. <laughs> I know, but it's just... Uh, it, honestly, it's, it is not your fault. I was really sorry to hear that things are over with you and Kate. I'm, I just feel... Well, you know, it, it, it's for the best. I think it's probably best if we just stay friends. I mean, I came home to get my life all figured out, you know, and it's just gotten really, I don't know, confusing and complicated, and I'm... Yeah, I'm sorry about all that. So I think it's probably a good idea if, if we don't see each other for a little while. So anyways, like I was saying, my husband Donald, he drives truck. He's always telling me, when you drive truck, you can't abandon it halfway down the line. Because when you truck, you better be in it for the long haul. Especially when you've already been paid in full. I'll give you two a minute. And with that, my friends, have a marvelous day in the meadows. See ya, man. All right, Maureen, uh, have a marvelous day in the meadows. You know, Reed, you seem awfully tired. Are you getting enough rest? Oh, no, yeah, I'm fine. Are you sure you're okay? She won't be mad forever. How do you know that? That's what the stars tell me. Or maybe, since I know you both since you're kids, I... I just... I just have a sense about these things. Bye, honey. If you mess with my cousin again, I'm gonna have to mess you up. I, I know that, Andrew. You said that exact same thing to me every single day of this week. Repetition. It's all about repetition in the martial arts. And life. Repetition. Okay. Thanks. Sorry to have to get rough with you. It's fine. I mean, I still want you to be in our wedding and everything, even though I'm not gonna be in yours. Poor Kate. Yeah. You screwed the pooch on that one, didn't you? Yes, I did. Yeah. And in the end, I'm afraid you will be the one who will truly suffer. We got this thing inside that's going around like a ride through life with a You say that ain't so So, um, where do you want to shoot? Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Um, maybe you want to start the interview kneeling and then get up as an introduction? Yeah, okay, sure. Hey, um, maybe you want to shave. I mean, it's not a real sexy five o'clock shadow. It's just depressing if you ask me. Well, I didn't ask you, so... Grab those carrots off you there. Uh, 
I'm here with I'm a Gene Sandstrom, uh, care caretaker extraordinaire. Um, now, Miss Sandstrom, how on earth do you explain these colossal carrots? Oh, I'm not about to share my secret with anyone. Next question, please. Reed, wake up. Franklin, be nice. All right, we'll just take it from the top. We're just going to take it from the, the tippy top. That's fine with me. But just remember, don't even think about asking me about my secret. OK. can't go on like this. I know, I know. It's just like... everything. All of it. I'm sorry, Frank. I just want everything to be like it was, you know? It'll get better. I promise. If you and Kate could just work this out, we wouldn't even have to be doing this. I know. I know. Believe me, I know that. Markowitz, right? Oh, they're going to hate me. Markowitz, <laughs> Jesus. Everybody hates you, bro. I may actually have to stop hanging with you. You're ruining my rep. Uh, now I know I've hit rock bottom. <laughs> Just leave it on the porch. You don't have to explain yourself to everybody. Yeah, just give me a second, OK? Hey, Reed, have you read the investment proposal I sent you yet? Uh. You know, Rex, I, I, I leafed through it. I'm telling you, man, this thing is going to be huge. Uh, so what are you saying? Are you in? I, I, don't, I don't think so. I'm not sure, man. <laughs> Come on, what do I have to do? I mean, this idea is golden. The internet is the technology of the future. I, I'm sorry, man. I, I don't think I can help you. Why do you have to be such a jerk? All I need is a little, a little seed money. And you've got so much stinking cash in the bank, you wouldn't even miss it. Damn it! Wait, so let, let me get this. Let me get this straight. <clears throat> you want me to spend my inheritance, or rather, the money for my parents' life insurance policies, the money that I haven't spent a dime of since they died, and put it into your business selling new and used table saws over the internet? Exactly. Well, that's pretty friggin' retarded, isn't it? It's a good idea. It's a good idea. Nice one, idiot. Thank you! You're mixing it up, at least. And now, let's see. Oh, I need my lovely little flower girl. Now, remember, sweetheart? Remember? Uh-huh. There we go. And you're going to stand right about here. OK? Now, the bride. Here she comes. That's right. Oh, so exciting. Very good. And, uh, oh, here we go. Jill, music, please.
Hi there. Hi. Great song. Thank you. Thank you very much. I've been working really hard on it. Man, it shows. Mm. It's really good to see you. Yeah, it's good to see you, too. I missed you. Yeah, I missed you, too. It's really good to see you. You said that already. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well. It's been quite a summer, huh? Yeah, yeah. It, shouldn't you guys be making out in the parking lot? <laughs> um, do you want to eat food? Yes, I'm yes. starving. Right. Let's go. Yeah. I've done that. Oh, I'm so full. Yeah, no kidding. You hit that buffet like eight times. Ow. Ow. All right. Oh, great. All right. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yes, here it is. And I quoteth, Dear Reed, you are such a cool guy. I just wish you had a better haircut. Love, Jill. <laughs> did I wrote that? Yes, you did. Let's see. Yep, and it's even more true today. Okay. <laughs> hey, so I told my parents about quitting school and seeing me and everything. Yeah, and? Uh, they were upset now, but mostly just because I lied to them. But otherwise, they just said they wanted me to be happy, and that's all any parent wants for their kid, right? Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. Why aren't we together? I should go. What? Reed, I told you I'm, I can't, I can't do this. Well, then why are you here right now? Look, Gabe's coming in the morning. He's going to the wedding with me. Matter, baby, where we went. Hey. Hi. Hey. Hey, read this game. Hey. Hey, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice about you. Yeah, I've heard of you. Jill, there you are. We need you on the point. Okay, come on. All right, we'll see. I'll see you afterwards. Okay. You okay? Yeah, you okay? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> You at the wedding party, huh? <laughs> yeah. Uh, sure. <laughs> you wanna show me? I'd love to. Okay. Please. You know Jill a long time? Uh, yeah, we, we grew up together. So you know how lucky I am? I do. This would be you. Thanks. Thank you. You got it. I'll see you afterwards. All right, sure, definitely. And so I know, Andrew, that you will always, always protect me. Word. Teresa, my love, my sensei, without you, I have no chi. I now that Andrew and Teresa have given themselves to each other and have done so before our God in this congregation, I pronounce them husband and wife. You may now kiss the bride. <laughs> Hey. 
I'm sorry, Kate. It was supposed to be us out there, and I messed everything up. I mean, especially after all that we've been through together. Well, Reed, I mean, I never told you this, but I was really scared about our wedding. You were? Yeah. I mean, my mom wasn't going to be there, so... Maybe it would have seemed like she was really gone. I mean, because if she was alive, nothing could have kept her from it. But, well, yeah, I mean, so yeah, I was scared. But I knew I would be all right. I mean, I knew it would be okay because, because you'd be there with me. Kate. No, she's still gone. So are you. I'm so sorry. Oh, I know. The door is open, so I just... So, I've been thinking, and I... Thinking about what? Oh, I didn't... I'm sorry, I'm <laughs> such an idiot. I... I should have known that... Well, you should have known what? That this was a huge mistake. Oh, God. But you were the one who... Oh, so you sleep with her to get back at me? Hey, she was my fiance. You were supposed to be married. You ruined that. Where do you get off saying anything? Let's just, just go back to friggin' Austin with Gabe or whoever. Oh, Jesus. Oh, you think you're so much better than us, don't you? I'm pretty sick of you, like, toying around with me. Are you insane? Not anymore. Don't you get it, Kate? He doesn't really love either of us. Hey, you're, you're really one to talk, Jill. Look, Reed, just tell her that you love me. You know what? I should have just left you alone here to live your dad's life in peace. Tell her that you love me. Just tell her the what? truth. Wait, whoa, Jill. So that's what it is? You, you, you look down on me? Jill. Jill. I mean, I thought you wanted... I thought you... And, and then this, the very next day, I mean, you're, you're so weak. Hey, I am not living my father's life. You're such an asshole. Oh, Kate. I'm so stupid for ever wanting to marry you, and even stupider for thinking that we had a second chance. Okay, you just you have to understand what I've been going through. She's right, you know. You don't really know how to love anybody. I hope you like them. Frank, take over. <coughs> uh, hi, Frank Cortez here. Um... Hey, Maureen, I bet you didn't know that a flea can jump 30,000 times without stopping. I did not know that. That seems like a lot. It is a lot. <laughs> um, 
It looks like we've got some calls lined up. So let's hit the phones. Hello, caller, you're on the fish. Patricia Rafferty here. We have a problem. Where's Reed? Well, Reed's not here. This is Frank. Tell Frank your problem. No, no, I, I need to talk to Reed about this. It's very serious. It's an emergency. Reed's supposed to be here every day. What do you mean he's not here? Where, where is he? Well, uh... Yes, uh, Patricia, can you hold on a moment? Dude, what the hell? I'm sick. So you just don't show up? What, I can't get sick? What, the whole town has to shut down because Reed Fish takes one no, sick man. day? That's bullshit, man. You, you're just screwed in the head. Shut up, get the hell out of here. You're making me look like an idiot, man. I'm not making you- I totally frozen there. I finally get my chance and I'm choking. What are you whining about? You were fine. No, I wasn't. Are you coming? I just told you I'm sick. Okay, we're back. So... Well, I'll tell you one thing. Reed's dear departed father never once was absent in all the years he did the show. And of course, the one day Reed decides to be gone, we've got a situation. I mean, it's a crime. I need help. I don't know what to do. Yes, it's an emergency. Hi, Patricia. This is Reed. What's your emergency? Reed, thank goodness you're here. There's a peacock running up and down the road. A peacock, Patricia? Yes, a peacock, and it's running around like crazy. Can you call the fire department? Why, is it on fire? No, it's not on fire. The, the fire department? Are you kidding? You need to call animal control, all right? And why can't you call them? Why do I have to call them? Reed Fish. Why do I have to do every single little thing? Everyone in this Jesus, town is such Jesus. a baby Jesus Christ. Make your own calls. Find your own jobs. Just what are you doing? Don't you use that kind of language with me. Every day, I listen to bitching and get the hell off Reed of me. Fish. Leave me the hell alone. What are you Reed doing? Fish. What is kind of itch? Nothing to you. Stop fighting right this minute or I will call the fire department. Watch out. Atmospheric pressure like will change that. later, oh, causing temperatures to fly. Bring the dogs inside tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I believe the whole fish, bitch. You guys stop it. Last week's bake sale did it. Over $83 of the proceeds from the sale will be used to buy a new animals, finally letting all mud metal the Soviet Union is no more. Oh. I think the radio's broke. Wait, you think you're funny? You make me sick, man. That was quite a performance there, Reed. What are you doing? This isn't you. Yeah, well, maybe this is me. Oh. Oh, so now you're the guy who yells at people on the radio, fights with his friends, cheats on his girlfriend. Hey, look, maybe I'm just not the guy that everyone needs me to be. Reed, nobody has ever needed you to be anything other than yourself. That is not true. No. Everyone in this town has always assumed that I... Assumed? Assumed that you were your father's son, yes. But that doesn't mean that you needed to try to be him. Because you are not him, obviously. Just get over it. Those lights up ahead Remind me of a rise The day she was with Those fools.
So thanks, everyone, for another wonderful show. This is Floyd Fish, and as always, I'll be back on your radio tomorrow for more of the same. And with that, my friends, have a marvelous day in the mess. These hearts are darker every day With all the good ones It often gets away But you see it's better now It's better than you ever know She got Could have sprung for roses. Yeah, I could have. But I thought this arrangement was nicer. What? You think you can just waltz right back into my life? Nah, no, man, I don't. But I at least wanted to apologize for. I'll apologize for everything, pretty much. So. I'm sorry. Yeah, I would say it's about time. Yeah. Oh, good. I got something I want to talk to you about, man. <clears throat> okay, what? Well, I'm thinking that it might be time for a new voice of Mud Meadows. What? You're not going to do the show anymore? Nope, I don't think so. What are you going to do then? Well, I've got money. And I've got this idea. At 23 years old, I finally figured out how to be a grown-up. I just needed a little push. Sure, that push sent me over a steep cliff, but that's OK, because I picked myself back up and I'm now grateful for it. Grateful because that tiny nudge ended up showing me the path to a happier life. You just have to be yourself. Know who you are. So, who am I? That's easy. I'm Reed Fish. to see yourself up there, huh? I know. I didn't know my ass was so great. Uh, you, your, your ass is fantastic. Um, I think we did well. I got to go. Yeah. Hey. Hey, heck of a movie. It took a lot of guts. Oh, thanks, John Penner. Yeah. Oh, Reed, that was so wonderful. Oh, thanks. You did a great job, Maureen. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of a regular Meryl Streep. Oh, you certainly are. <laughs> You know, Reed, your parents would have really been proud of you. Thank you. Fish, hey man, great job. Oh, thanks, you guys are great. Oh. I asked Teresa, I almost started.